My problem with Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters, is that so far the roster isn't stupid enough. Uh, Dragon Ball, if you're unfamiliar, started out as as a comedy, as a comedy manga. Like it's very it's very goofy in the early days, and then it gets serious, and they start doing doing karate and throwing fire at each other and, and yelling. Uh, but there's always kind of this underlying current of comedy in there, uh, and I don't think that Fighters really leans into that hard enough. So I hope for DLC we start getting some like some, some sillier characters in there. And, you know, I mean, MVC has proven that you can take silly characters and make them work in a yep. fighting game. Uh, I mean, I think prior to people, you know, seeing Marvel vs. Capcom in action, Rocket Raccoon probably seemed like kind of a, a stupid character to throw against, like, Ryu. So, um, getting into it real quick, here's some DBZ characters that I want to see in the roster. Um, Bulma. First things first, this is the first person that Goku meets, aside from his grandfather. It's Bulma. She's, she's great. She's actually, like, a really huge character in, in Dragon Ball Fighter's story. Um, She's an inventor. How does she know martial arts? No. Uh, but you look at you know you look at MVC. They've got like I don't know. They've they've got like Mega Man in there. They've got like uh, they've got like a, a Matarasu. Like they've got characters who like don't really kind of fit with the rest. Bulma could be throwing uh, capsules the whole time. She could be pulling out machine guns, getting in mech suits, or like summoning weird stuff. Like it's it's a video game. Use your imagination. They could do anything. Um, but obviously they've already built a model of Bulma in the in the game. So. If they've got her in there, maybe we'll see her pop up and maybe she'll do, even just as an assist or something, like maybe she'll, you know, throw up, show up and, mm -hmm. and, you know, help out Vegeta when he's down or something. I don't know. Um, Mr. Satan, Hercule, as you might know him if you watch the, the American dub, he's, uh, he's arguably the, the worst fighter in, in, in all of Dragon Ball. He's kind of like, a, like an idiot Chuck Norris. Uh, he comes out, he does a lot of, like, yelling and posturing, and uh, he's not good at fighting, but, like, I feel like they could do something really funny with that. Like, how would it, how would it look if he's fighting down against like literal little, like literal gods on the screen? Uh, but if nothing else, he's just he's a lot of fun. So I think he'd he'd fit in there really well. Um, if there's an opposite to Goku, it's it's Yajirobe. Um, they're both kind of like woodland simpletons who eat a lot. But Yajirobe doesn't actually want to be there. He's kind of a kind of a jerk. What's he munching on in uh, this shot? Is that a donut? I think that's like a what is it? Like a beef ball? Like some kind of dumpling? Oh, I don't know. Delicious. But his whole deal is everyone's like, oh, you like you guys all. You, the world is in danger. We need your help. And he's like, yeah, it sucks. I just bought a new car. I don't really want to do that. And you know, he'll occasionally show up and save the day. But like he, you know, he he does a few times actually show up and fight. But for the most part, he's just a pain in the ass. But great character nonetheless. And I'd love to see him in there. Um, talk about uh, maybe sort of some problematic faves here, Mr. Popo. Uh, not not the not the most you know culturally sensitive character to look at in, in 2018, but uh, he's uh, he's a, he's a contender. This dude like he, he kicks some ass in the show. Yeah, Brian doesn't watch the anime, but yeah, yeah maybe we don't need Mr. Popo. Maybe it's maybe yeah, I don't, don't know. Maybe he yeah. can, maybe they can do something. But I mean, he beats the crap out of out of Trunks and Goten, so he's like a he's a tough character, and he's like a yeah. he's like a genie. So yeah, I don't know. Um, now one character from very early Dragon Ball who showed up a bunch in Super is Emperor Pilaf, who's sort of like, uh, like a blue Kim Jong-un, sort of, uh, you know, he's got his, his weird, his weird temple that he lives in, and he's got his henchmen, and he's just angry all the time, and he, he's like a weird, he's like a weird dude, he gets, shows up a lot in robots, or he'll just like have like a missile. It's uh, weird to see like the, the clown ruffle neck thing outside of clown attire, like he's just wearing it to work. Yeah, he's like really. a, he's like a little emperor baby. Okay. Um, but his whole deal is like, there's a bunch of times when like a boss like, baby. He's kind of a boss baby, yeah. But uh, there's one part in like early Dragon Ball where he uh, he blows a kiss at at, at Bulma or something that they like they're holding hostage. And everyone's like, oh no, he blew a kiss, and this like heart comes out, and it's kind of like um, like Sonya Blade had a move like that in the original Mortal Kombat. Right. Remember that, like the yeah, Sonya's yeah. kiss. And, mm. But the idea of this gross little like gnome being like. Oh, I'm the emperor. I'm gonna give you a kiss, and then like you know, th shooting that at Vegeta or somebody, and them just like taking damage. Like that's the kind of silliness I want to see in Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, Hell yeah! Oolong is what are uh, these things? he's a perverted pig who can shape shift, but only for short amounts of time because he dropped out of shape shifting school. Uh, what? Dra Dragon Ball's great, man. Early Dragon Ball gets super weird. So he's like a weird little pervert talking pig who apparently like has like a Maoist hat for some reason. Uh, 
But his whole deal would, his, his whole fighting style would be turning into different things and then, you know, stealing their moves, but then like having to like switch back. Because he didn't make like, it to graduation at shapeshifting school? That nah. seems like the easiest school to pass. You, you send so. your friend in to do the job for you? They go into that, man. It's weird. They kind of, they dig into that, yeah. That There's another weird. one. There's a cat that can shapeshift who actually did graduate, who's like way better at shapeshifting. And also, then, okay. he'll like turn into a woman, but he'll still have that face and people are like, you're not good at this, are you? Um, here's a good one. Goten and Trunks, obviously they fuse together and they form they form Gotenks, which is who is in Dragon Ball Fighters. But before that, they turned into Mighty Mask, which is when they stacked on top of each other and tried to sneak into an adult's martial arts tournament, like what? kids going to a movie theater. So this is like two kids trying to get a bank loan? They like beat up an adult and they take his clothes and they dress they dressed up and they you know they poke little eye holes. So it's like little rascals? Why do you poke eye holes? So what he does he need so to he see? see? Yeah, so he can see who to kick. Yeah, Goten's on the oh, bottom there. Oh, okay. What's great though is that like whoever I think they're up against uh, like Android 18, and she just like you know she, she beats them by just cutting them in half. But this is at like a public tournament, so it looks like she just eviscerates this this human man, and everyone's like, "You killed him! You cut him in half!" And they're like, "Actually, on closer inspection, that was two children disguised as an adult." So let me get let me get some weirdness in in, in my Dragon Ball game. Hell yeah, I like it. Do you want to dress up like this one day? I think it would be bad for one or both of our shoulders. I get dibs on top bunk. I don't want that. Uh, all right, so uh, t- uh, Tao Pai Pai, who's a uh, you know mercenary Tao, he's, he shows up initially as kind of this like he's he trains uh, Chao Tzu and uh, what's that? does he train? I forget. He shows up in early Dragon Ball, but he's got this move uh, the Dodon Pa, which is like a it's all named after weird Chinese food, but like is he like a robot uncle? Yeah, he gets his ass kicked by Goku, but then okay. he comes back as like a cyborg in Dragon Ball Z as like a random filler episode, and he's, he's got can he shoot lasers from his eyes? I think he can. Sweet. He's got like a knife hand, but like he's just like a cool design. It's like I love that that mix of like hey what if uh, what if we took like this uh, like this this kung fu dude, but then we gave him like night vision goggles like Buffalo Bill. I I, I like that. So I don't I don't know. He's he's kind of a throwaway. He's but, great. Um, yeah, so uh, so moving on, uh, one character who shows up in a... Is this every Dragon Ball character? This that is you want not ever. We're almost done there. We're getting in the, we're getting the weeds here. I like the really weird parts of Dragon. I like when it gets just. I like the deep cut nonsense. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, there's a lot of filler in there. There's a lot of nonsense that doesn't really add to the story. One part of that is Gohan is he has to do his homework. He has to he has to get homeschooled. Uh, but his mom, who wants him to be like a really good student, hires this like <laughs> child whipping man, this like S and M's tutor who straight up like whips him. And like this is like an incredibly small like strong child who like has a pet dinosaur and and you know his father saves the earth all the time. And he's, the guy comes in and starts beating the kid with a whip. And I think eventually he beats Mr. Shu's ass, but really Mr. Shu is like a cruel abusive tutor and I don't know. If you got Phoenix right in in a fighting game, I think that you can have like a guy who hits a child with a whip cuz that's scary. That's a weird sentence that you did there. Yeah, the whole thing. We do. Like, there's a lot of times for weird sentences. There's all. It's a. It's a cartoon about the men named after food or from space, and they all kick each other. Okay. Uh, anyway, no, there's more. Famous episode. Goku's ordeal. Goku and Piccolo have to go get their driver's licenses because Goku's wife is mad at her husband for being an you unemployed want, layabout. Okay. All right. No, How no, many characters that is do you a, want? That to is an underrated character. She's a very aggressive driving instructor. There aren't enough female characters on the roster. Or really in Dragon Ball what in general. What would her moves be? She driving did, a she, car. She, she, the parallel she's ag- park? aggressive driving. She's a very dangerous driver. She, she's like she's got road rage. Wait, she drives why? All over but the she's place. a driving instructor. Okay, all right. She'd have right. a car. That would be her weapon. Is the car? She'd fly the car all over the screen. Hit them with the car. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Now finally, just really as an ode to people who just really pay attention to Dragon Ball, there's one character who I think everybody probably maybe remembers and who should. Or shouldn't be in Dragon Ball Fighters, and that is, of course, that farmer who shoots r- Raditz in the first episode. Okay, you're. He cut comes off. out and he's like, he's like an ostrich farmer, and he's got a gun, and this man lands in his field and he shoots him, and the guy catches the bullet and then flicks it back at him, and he dies. But I like the idea of this fighting game that just has like a random farmer with a gun in it, alongside all these men who have fire for hair, and they this can is, this is they like can s- blow up planets and fly. This is like if I did a segment on a Star Wars game that I want, and I want it to you Dude, this play is, as a mouse this droid. This is the literally world. the same segment as when we were like heroes we want in Battlefront Two, and we were like yeah, Malakili the Rancor Keeper. It's yeah, but you're, you're like gag. Goku's dentist, uh, Bulma's hairdresser. We totally, like, we totally did that. With, with Battlefront 2. It's the okay, same, fair it's enough. the thing. Obviously, I love Dragon Ball a whole bunch. If you want to see more videos about me loving Dragon Ball, hear the story about the time I spent too much money on horrible bootleg Dragon Ball Z sneakers. Also, Banpresto makes cool figurines like this one. If you want to see us unboxing some of those with Brian, who doesn't know a damn thing about Dragon Ball, check out the other video and watch up at noon every Thursday at noon Pacific time on IGN.